Gary in Minnesota writes to me. Hey, Paul. Hey, Gary. In the fall of 2024 issue of the Absolute Sound magazine, there is an article that states that Meridian created a digital active loudspeaker in which the crossovers were implemented in the digital domain. This outside-the-box breakthrough allows the designer to create crossovers unthinkable in the analog chain, <laughs> such as radically steep slopes, well, that's true, uh, coupled with perfect time domain behavior, also true. The entry also states that today, digital active loudspeakers are an integral part of the digital landscape. Now, here's my question. Why don't I see more digital active loudspeakers given these great specs? Well, because people don't want to buy them. That's the simple answer. All right, see you tomorrow. Oh boy. Okay, so it's, it's interesting. They are a growing category. They've been around for ever. In our field of high-end audio, people tend to want to build their own systems. They want to pair their favorite speakers with their favorite amplifiers. And that's been a reality for the longest time, and it remains so. There are a growing number of self-amplified speakers. Uh, Chris Brunhaver and I are working on our own versions, and they will use a DSP, digital signal processor, because there's so much more you can do with DSP, as, as Bob Stewart and the Meridian boys figured out a long time ago amongst, you know, I mean, that's been known for years. And even if you did it analog, there's all kinds of advantages. Imagine mating the amplifier that we would choose with that particular driver to come up with the simple slopes and all uh, within it. But um, there's a great freedom to build the product the way you want but there are some limitations. And that's part of the reason why people are a little bit put off with it. And let's talk about those. These digital devices require, guess what? A digital signal. Now, I would guess probably a quarter of all of our customers use a turntable, use analog, and We've, they've paid a great deal of money and attention to having an analog amplifier, an analog preamplifier, and an analog stereo pair of speakers, right? If you go DSP, all of a sudden, all that trouble you went to to keep everything clean and analog and class AB amplifiers and class A preamplifiers, all of that, out the window. You are going to now put it through an A to D converter and you're going to convert it to digital and then you're going to run it through this DSP crossover. So that is a big downside. If we were in a pure digital world, then I doubt there would be a whole lot of discussion and people would be fine doing this or at least more fine than they currently are. But currently, the hesitation to convert analog to digital and the fact that we like to mix and match and generate this and put that with that really um, is standing in the way of everybody going over to self-amplified speakers. So, all right, I hope that uh, answers your question. Thanks, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.